Crazy Eights is what we have here as we bring you episode 88 of Norm Nathan's Vault of Silliness. We love it when you like, subscribe, and share our moments of madness. Don't be afraid to do that on whichever service you use to allow us to tickle your ears with fun. A dumb birthday game from May 25th, 1996 closes out this month and leads us into the long Memorial Day weekend. Because the game features many birthdays from the fairer sex, this one is titled Ladies' Night. We begin with an appreciation for Jack's traffic advice, as well as his summer fashion awareness, and then it's on to the game. The players. Jack, I'm on the phone and looking not to make people laugh, which is very presumptuous of me, but for people to make me laugh. Call me crazy! And Norm doesn't hesitate to call me something else. Mr. Direct Tom Howie is producing and playing in studio. The slow-talking, possibly inebriated Kevin in Jamaica Plain. Kathy in Altoona, Pennsylvania, a virgin player, but requests no sacrifices. Altoona brings up a conversation about vaudeville, and Norm sings. And we also have Scott in Wayland. The birthdays. Karen Valentine. We have a hearty time with her. The Lone Ranger and Tonto stop by. Also, Norm recites a poem. Leslie Uggams, Dixie Cotter, Beverly Sills, and an operatic debate ensues. Connie Selica, and I injure myself whilst reaching for a pun. Casey Jones, we go off the rails ever so slightly with this one. Kitty Callan, and Hal David. Did you know that he wrote dozens of hits and the B-side of that was tons of tunes? I didn't think so. Other highlights include Norm sharing observations because he's a relations expert. And the relations discussed should really be re-examined by a trained professional. I had seen Spy Hard with Leslie Nielsen and give an in-depth review. We learned that Norm's mother-in-law had no sense of humor. Nor did Shirley, his date to the prom. Norm still cleaning out his house to put together prize packages. Maybe a bag of ashes is suggested. Why? Well, Norm had a small fire at his house. And as he put it, just in the house, in the walls and things. It didn't amount to anything. You know, the usual type of wall fire. I had also recently watched the Benny Goodman story with Steve Allen on AMC. And give another in-depth review that's not to be missed. A scoring update could be the beginning of a dirty joke. We get a nice Sherm Feller history lesson from Uncle Norm. And there may be some angry letters to the Rules Committee. Episode 88, Ladies' Night, begins now. Well, you're Tony Nesbitt. I'm, I'm just so darn glad, Tony. Yeah? Well, maybe I'm not that glad. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Let me, let, me, let me throw you on with uh, Jack Hart. Sure. Because you both have something in common. You're both deadheads. I made that up. <laughs> hey, Jack. Hello. I, I, I was glad that last report you said something about uh, it's like a Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. I knew there was something buzzing because uh, I don't know. I just could feel there was some kind of a holiday in the air. And uh, when you clarified it for me and told me to drive carefully, I thought that was really nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. And a guy called me from Brentham and said, you know, I was going to drive really like a crazy nut. <laughs> recklessly. Yeah, recklessly until well, I heard the Jack say, drive carefully. And I thought, you know, that's not a bad idea. He said, you may have saved that man's life. Well, you see what the problem is with this time of year, Norm, is this is the time of year where everybody gets out all their white shoes and, and white belts and white hats and things like this. So if the, the, the light is glaring off someone's new summer outfit, oh, then whoosh, oh, geez. you're having trouble. Oh. Jack. Yes? I wouldn't be surprised if Tony didn't hang up right in the middle of all of that. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm not going to be... I need humor tonight. You need humor tonight? I need humor. I, I'm not planning on being funny. I need someone to make you me laugh. You need somebody to, to, to let, make you laugh. That's why you I called a, in to play I, the game. I see. Don't uh, call me crazy. No, I'll call you in a bitchy mood is what I'll call you. <laughs> apparently, that, that's, I detect signs of it. I happen to be a psychologist, as you know. No, not, they don't call them psychologists now on those talk shows. They call them... Psychoanalysts. They call them, no, relations experts. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. Hi there, I'm my relations expert, and I want to have relations with you, honey. Well, <laughs> I'm not with you, not with you guys. Don't, don't you get any ideas in your head? <laughs> hey, what's that, pal? I was thinking, I was trying to think of uh, whose name I could use. I certainly don't want to have them with any anybody who's going to, any woman who's going to talk show on television. But any, anyway, we, we rely. Well, I mean, you wouldn't mind. Which one? Jenny Jones. Yeah, she looks like a, it's like, it would be like a, having sex with a Barbie doll. You know, I mean, it's, I, I don't see She'll any. bring back memories from childhood. <laughs> what, what memories? There weren't even Barbie dolls when I was a kid. What are you saying? Okay, a blown up balloon, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> a balloon? Anyway, no, let's get off this little thing. I'm, if my daughter's listening, she's saying, oh, dad, oh, dad, dad. I saw a funny movie today. Which one was that? Spy Hard with Leslie Nielsen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Was it funny? Yes, it was. It didn't was, put you in a funny mood, though, huh? It was uh, stupid funny. Well, yeah, most of no, the... Oh, well, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm in a very funny mood, can't you tell? Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Air on the top of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel it, really swell. Uh, yeah. it, it's funnier than the Naked Gun movies, because the last two Naked Gun movies were just like, okay, we've seen it, they've done it, it's, it's enough. But tonight there was some new stuff, some new stupid things. Well, it wasn't the zoo. It's not, it's not the same people who did uh, the, no, it uh, isn't. the Naked Gun movies. No, it isn't. And he had, um, uh, was it director or producer credit on this movie, too? Oh, no kidding. Yep. Mm. Nice job. Well, Very funny. Okay, well, you recommend it then. They yes, were, I do, yeah. Because they were talking about making another Naked Gun movie also. Mm -hmm. I but, talked about that. It seems to me like they... You know, they've gone through every idea that they've ever had. They should probably call it Son of Naked Gun. That would be pretty good. Well, that would be a funny title, but Son then you Naked have to build them. You can't just go with the title. And then from then on, it would be trouble, because then they have to do the movie itself. <laughs> and we got a great title, but I don't know where to go well, with What if it, you so. went to the theater, and they showed the title, and then the movie ended? I suppose they, you could do that. They'd make a whole bunch of money off it. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> paid the seven fifty, whatever it is, to get in. And suddenly, it says, well, that the title was, it was a very funny movie. You can imagine... <laughs> <laughs> the word of mouth and how many more people would go after that performance. Well, you got to open it on that holiday weekend where everyone rushes to the movie that first day. And, you know. <laughs> Sell them all popcorn for eighteen fifty before they go in. But, you know, what kind of a recommendation is this for Spy Hard? Oh, it's a wonderful movie. It's a great movie. But you know what? I'm in a lousy mood. <laughs> No, no. I never said I was in a lousy oh. mood. I just said I needed some humor. That's all. Some humor, no? We all need humor. God knows we can't get through life without humor. Never except, said I was in a lousy mood. Yeah, except my late mother-in-law was the only one who could get through life uh, without thinking anything was funny. And also the girl I took to this high school senior prom. Was yeah. that Shirley? Yeah, she did giggle though. I said, I'll say that for you. That, oh, don't, don't. That's right. That's her name. I said her whole name on the air a few times once, and I went to a high school reunion, and everybody came up to me and said, "She's not here." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I thought that I thought that wasn't bad because, you know, I, I'd have to get my laugh somewhere else. You know, I, incidentally, Tom Howie, our producer tonight. Yeah. Is also playing the game. I and I, I've been very rude, Tom. I uh, haven't introduced no, yeah. you or said anything. It's we been just a very got, interesting conversation. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we, we old guys just been sitting around giggling and laughing, and, <laughs> and you've been sort of looking there with a, a look of total adoration in your face, and I thought you enjoyed the, this kind of conversation a whole lot. <laughs> the ribald humor, the the quick retorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got it all. It's all right here, all jam packed. <laughs> And it's on at 19 minutes after 3 o'clock in the morning. That shows you what, uh, what broadcasting thinks of us. <laughs> okay, let me introduce you to some other members of the panel. Oh, there's, there's more people playing? Oh, yeah, oh. there's about three more people. There's Kevin, who's in Jamaica Plain, who's playing the game with us tonight. Hi, Kevin. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Kevin. You think you can keep up with this fast-paced kind of uh, wit? Well, I'll uh, do my best. You talk very. You do talk like Jimmy Stewart. You're talking very slowly. Can you? Well, you, <laughs> that sounds like the Bob and Ray slow talkers of America. You know that routine? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's a, that's, uh, a, uh, that's what you've got. That's what you've got. That's not a bad line. Okay, let's go to Kathy in the Pennsylvania. Kathy, hello. Hi. You played the game with us before, I believe. No, never had the opportunity. Nev, nev, never had the opportunity. Mm, a virgin. To... Wow. Oh, a virgin, virgin for yeah. some fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No sacrifices, please. <laughs> no, we'll be gentle. Thank you. 
Uh, where, now, where in Pennsylvania are you, Kathy? Altoona. Altoona. If you get one Altoona phone book, look at look her up. Make sure she's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Altoona. Yes. Altoona. That's, yeah, but that's for that, from that old song mentioned, My Name in Altoona. It's the greatest little town in the world. You know that song? <laughs> it, it, they know. mention a whole lot of towns. Uh, it looks like a vaudeville you're talking about places he performed in. It's vaudeville. Vaudeville. It's, 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 it's vaudeville. Vaudeville. Is that, uh, Robert Forever. Robert. Are we doing Robert? Yes, right. <laughs> what is it? But it oh, go ahead. No, I'm just going to ask Kathy. I point out that Kathy's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't uh, uh, Altoona where the vaudeville used to like try out a lot of their stuff before? They were, George Burns was always talking about uh, how something died in Altoona. In yeah, Altoona. well, there were there were certain towns that they would mention. One was Elmira, which is in yeah. New York State. They used to mention my name in Elmira, Altoona. There'd be a few towns like that, and that was in the original song. Uh, mention my name and uh, you know uh, uh, it's the greatest little town in the world. Mention my name, just mention my name, but don't tell them where I am. You know, one of those kind of songs. <laughs> <laughs> but Altoona was always mentioned. Have you have you found that to be so, Ka uh, Kathy? Uh, it, it seems like either people know what it's famous for or know where it's at or they know nothing about it. Mm. Well, that seems. I think you <laughs> could say that about a lot of places. Yeah, there, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think you could say the same thing about Pittsburgh. Well, I my either. name in Pittsburgh. Yeah. No, that's no, that doesn't make it. No, it has to be three. Uh, it has to be three syllables. Uh, let me see. Pittsburgh and. Uh, let's see. Mention my name in Belchertown. And Harrisburg. No, see, it has to be the with the accent on the middle one. Maybe Scott can help us with that one. Scott, Scott is in Wayland. Mention okay. my name in Wayland. No, that doesn't work there either. Mention my name in Cucamonga. <laughs> How you doing, Scott? I'm great, Norm. Thanks. You sound you sound great too. I don't think you're exaggerating one bit when you put it that way. <laughs> what are you doing up at this time of the day? Playing the dumb birthday game. You? Oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> Okay, you know how we play the dumb birthday game? I tell you who was born on this day, and then we just, uh, in between the quips and the fast repartee, I have a feeling something is happening with one of our listeners. Just I'm fell down in a phone. cold stupor on the phone. Uh, <laughs> no, someone was changing phones. Oh, somebody may have changed phones. Yeah. That might be it. Anyway, uh, in between the, the fast reposts and uh, quips, uh, we, we guess the ages of the people. But that's only kind of incidental. And whoever uh, comes the closest to is to most of the ages and stuff uh, wins something totally useless, unless it's Tony, Jack, or Tom, since they work here, so they don't get anything. We're already they, useless. Yeah. So I hope that you guys win, Kevin, Kathy, or Scott, because I got a lot of stuff still cleaning out my house and getting rid of the clutter, and I got to get get rid of it someplace, including me. <laughs> A paper bag full of ashes from the small fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> he did have a small fire. Yes. Oh. Uh, no, it was it was uh, just uh, it was just in the house and in, in the walls and things. <laughs> it was just the walls of yeah, the house. Just the usual kind of wall fire. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that roof could be replaced. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Today is the birthday of Karen Valentine. Oh. Uh, the uh, actress, she was on way back in the earlier days of Love television. American style. Oh, she, was she in that too? She always showed up, yeah. Room 222. Oh, Room 222, that's right. And she was in Love American style? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, she was very funny. Uh, in uh, Room 222, she was the school teacher, Alice Johnson. She's, she's, I see her every now and then in some other things. Uh, anyway, how, today is her birthday. How old would you say she is, uh, Kevin? Oh, she's a hard one to place because <laughs> I, I get that. haven't heard uh, of anything of her doing for a number of years. Um, Are you celebrating Memorial Day weekend, Kevin, by any chance? Right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe for the past no, few hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving the, for Monday. Uh, I would say uh, 43. 
You'd say 43. Yes. Okay. When he would say it, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kathy, <laughs> how old do you think uh, Karen uh, Valentine is? I'll say 48. 48, okay. Uh, oh, Tonto. <laughs> oh, come, uh, Karen has heart shaped face. Karen Valentine. <laughs> Heart shaped face. Uh, heart shaped. I, I couldn't think of any other way to say it. <laughs> With chocolates coming out of her mouth. Uh, uh, Scott, what do you think? How old is this? Karen Valentine, would you say? Well, I know she's hot. She's, she's hot? <laughs> she's hot. Oh, she is. She's a hot babe. Well, she was hot, yeah. but I mean, it was. A little air conditioning will cool her right down. I would say she, she's she got to be. Pushing the big five oh. So I'm gonna say forty nine. Forty nine. Okay. Tony, what do you think? Uh, I'll repeat my joke again. I said she was very funny. Ew. Oh <laughs> I know everyone missed Oh it. oh yes. Mm -hmm. I bet she makes you smile with your heart. <laughs> hey, oh, you're to slap you for that. Uh -huh. She's hey, a uh, uh an unphotographable with looks that are laughable. No hints. Okay. Funny Jet, she's uh, your favorite work of art. Is her figure less than Greek? Is her mouth a little weak? Yeah. I'm just describing her so you get a better picture of her. <laughs> Keep going. When she opens it to speak, <laughs> is she wise? <laughs> so... I've told her not to change a hair for me, not if she really cares for me. <laughs> Speak, I little darling. I think Onassis Valentine. came out with this once. What's that, please? I think Onassis came out. Onassis, with... that's a very good line, even though no, none of us know what you're talking about. <laughs> but will she get a beer for me? Onassis said that, you say. Oh, I see, but will she get a beer for me? I see, there was a parody on the original uh, Rogers and Hart song, eh? Okay. Is that what that was? I don't know. I don't know. guess is as good as mine. All right. You know, they said she was pushing 50. I say she has stopped. At 50? At 50. 50. Okay. Uh, Jack, what do you think? Hmm. You know, it's it's hard to say. Is she Has she not reached or has she gone over? Or is, uh, as Tony would uh, suggest, right at You should have 50. an in on this, Jack Hart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right, too. Jack Hart. And wouldn't that be a great headline on the social pages? Karen Valentine uh, Hart. Valentine marries Hart. <laughs> Wed's Hart. Yeah. Her name would be Karen Valentine Hart. That's yeah, really that, something. That is really nice, yeah. Uh, that, you know, she was very witty as a child. People always said she was quite a card. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, that really seriously. No, yeah. That really. No, seriously, Jack. That really sucked. <laughs> um, sorry. I'll say she's fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay. And, hey. Tom, and Tom, what would you say? I'll say she's forty-eight. See, you notice what a nice man he is. He just says it. He says it quickly, to the point. Doesn't put any bad jokes around it. So, don't don't come. And be a member of our future panel, okay? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Karen Valentine actually is 49. That's yes. Scott, oh. Scott said that. Yeah. No. Wait, hold it. What's that, please? What did Kevin say? Kevin said 43, I think. Yeah. He said it. He said it nicely but slowly. <laughs> you said 43. No, Kevin. No, Scott said 49. And uh, Kathy said 48, or, and the, everybody was very, and so did the Tom. You all were very, very close, however. Okay. Well, okay. whatever. Okay, Leslie Uggams, singer-actress, oh, appeared on, be, uh, hold on a minute, uh, Kevin, while I just sort of give a little background here, because okay. that'll help you see, uh, decide how old she is. Yeah. Okay. Right. Before okay. we realize, uh, she appeared on a sing-along with Mitch, which wasn't one of her <laughs> finest moments. That was such a cornball show. Uh, that was in the early 60s, however. The uh, era might help you identify. She's been in some Broadway shows, too. Uh, she played uh, Kizzy in Roots. Remember the, the uh, Roots, the TV series, as you know. Uh -huh. uh, Leslie Uggams was in that. She's been in a number of things. She sings well, and she's a good actress. 
And uh, Tom Howie, how old do you think she is? I'll say 52. 52. Okay. And Jack? Let's see. So that's like 30 years ago that she was on Sing Along with Mitch. Uh, do, 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 do. Was that mid-60s? The early 60s. Early 60s. Early, so it's actually so closer 30 to 35 seconds. years ago. 35 years yeah. ago. Uh, I remember that show. I got a little bit. Um, yeah. I have one of his Christmas albums. <laughs> Mitch, uh, Mitch Miller? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think I've got with some uh, a, a, a Christmas album around there. That probably um, was really good for him. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> If you wanted to sing along with somebody, yeah. Mitch was the guy to sing along with. Just a dream at twilight. <laughs> um, Ooh, I'll, I'll, say <laughs> <don't drink. laughs> uh, I'll say that uh, she is 54. 54. Okay, Tony? You know what I saw last night at AMC? What? The Benny Goodman story. Ooh. Oh, with Steve Allen, yeah. I'm telling you, I was tapping my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I was grooving around the house here at... You know what? I three thirty in the morning. I think it was. Uh, okay. The other night, the the uh, I I forget which which channel had this on. It might have been the American Movie Channel. Also, they had uh, Robert Preston and the Music Man mm -hmm. with Shirley Jones. That Preston was absolutely incredibly wonderful. Just just wonderful. That was a, I I don't know that I've ever seen the movie all the way through before. I missed a little bit of this last night, but caught it, and I said, hey, wait a minute, I think this is the Benny Goodman story, and sure enough, it was, and I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I love that station. Uh, Steve, you know, I know it. I know they do some good stuff. Steve Allen looks looks so much like Benny Goodman in that, yeah. too. He really did. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, Benny Goodman played most of the music, actually, in that, but when they were doing the uh, the, the part where he was learning to play, trying to figure it out how to play, he couldn't, he couldn't uh, make bad noises on the clarinet anymore, so Steve <laughs> Allen himself had to play those, uh, the sour notes. Isn't that, that's funny. That was, uh, in the TV book, they only had uh, given it two stars. Uh, I thought it was entertaining, but maybe one of the reasons they did is uh, the the playing of Steve Allen, to put, you know, these notes are coming out, and sometimes he's, he's not moving his fingers, and the notes on the clarinet are changing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> I imagine a clarinet player watching that probably had a fit. Oh, e even some of the other band members, it was, some of the stuff was like, uh, come on, can we, something's wrong here. The soundtrack isn't up with the, <laughs> with the visuals. Come yeah. on, speed it up a little bit. They were going to give it more stars, but uh, <laughs> they had Benny Goodman playing uh, the trombone. <laughs> they, they got their facts a little off, you see. <laughs> and, anyway, uh, you just went through the whole clarinet bit, and I'm making bad jokes. Wesley Uggams. Uh, Leslie Uggams, yes. Yes, that's the lady. I have no, I don't know, 50, uh, oh, you, what, what, we said, what, 30, 33 maybe years ago? Yeah, 33, 30, 34, 34 years, years ago. ago. So she was on so she must have been about, wow, that would make her, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you spoke rap and, or scant. That sounds more like oh, like a Mel Torme scant song. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay, and uh, Scott, who already has triumphed once, let's see if he can come up with this one. All right. Is someone lurching? <laughs> Sixty-two. <laughs> what, what did you say? Sixty-two. Yes, sir. Okay, Scott says 62. Kathy? 58. You can talk more if you'd like. You're the only woman on the panel, and we like your voice. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> want, want to say anything more? No, I'm just enjoying listening. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kevin? Yeah, I, I would say... I, I remember her. She was a very attractive lady. Uh, yeah. She still is attractive, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just say something? I, did you just say a number? Yes. Whatever you guess, add one, because by the time you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she's a year older. What, 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 um, what, what did you say? What did you, uh, how old is 56. she? 56. 56, okay. Uh, she is actually 52. <laughs> I'm sorry, 52. <laughs> yes. She doesn't have that second face look. Yeah, Tom, Tom Howie said 52. I'm sorry, she's 53, excuse me. Tom Howie said 52, and the Jack said 54. She was just a kid on that Mitch Miller thing. Yeah, she really was. She was in her late teens or just about 20. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so we got uh, Jack and Tom are the two winners 
on that. And we'll go to Dixie Carter, who's a, who who's a, was in Different Strokes, cast in 1984 as Maggie McKinney, and she's on the, when was on uh, Designing Women, which you know was one married to Gerald Rick, uh, Gerald McRaney. No, Hal no. Holbrook. Was the one there? Which one that was, was she? she the one that, oh, thank uh, you. I'm sorry. Tell me. All right. Put on all that weight. No, 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 no. That was basically yeah, I don't know who she is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is she the blonde on designing women? No, she's dark, dark hair. Is she the one that got fat? No, no. That's uh, that's the one married to Gerald McRae. Yeah, Della Burke. Burke. Della Burke. Della yeah, Burke. Yeah, yeah. That's Burke. right. That's right. She 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 had a show of her own at one point that lasted the. <laughs> Until about the second commercial. I meant plump. <laughs> okay, co-star, and she was on Designing Woman, which was canceled. So I'm about to give you... Oh, she is married to Hal Holbrook. Yeah. yeah she just oh, so you said that. Somebody yeah. said that. Oh, I, did, I didn't... I missed that. She, See, the, I talk and you still don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Kathy. Uh, she, she also does some cabaret singing and stuff, I believe. I believe she does. Yeah. She, her, the show, incidentally, Designing Woman, was canceled in 1993... And again, she was in Different Strokes in 1984. So I mean, I'm just giving you those years because that may help. Different Strokes. Anyone remember? I don't. I don't like know. Like the father's love interest of the maid. What the hell was she? I don't know. That, I oh, don't. she played. Um, I'm a big fan of that she show. She was married to, um, oh, Conrad Bain in the the last um, couple a year or so. She, I think, she married Conrad. Bain. Oh, okay. So she. Oh, oh, oh. I was thinking of the. Uh, Give me a break. Nell? Nell Cotter? <laughs> yeah, no, but I know that wasn't... Uh, uh, that would make her the only cast member from Different Strokes who didn't wind up in jail. Probably. Is that right? Well, I don't know that Conrad Bain ever ended up in prison. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> much right enough to commit a crime. Okay, uh, let's start with you, Kathy. How old do you think uh, Dixie Carter is? Oh, Probably fifty-four. Okay, and uh, Tony. Uh, fifty-three. Fifty-three. All right, and uh, Kevin. Uh, I would say forty-nine. Forty-nine. All right, Jack. Uh, fifty. Six. Fifty-six. And uh, Tom? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. And what do you say, Scott? Forty-eight. Okay, she's fifty-seven. Oh, damn, she's old. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she is old. My <laughs> God. Ready for the bone orchard, oh, she is. She is. Oh. You know, that's why she doesn't <clears throat> sing anymore. All the bones creak in just used oh, to by the appearance right. of the microphone. That's right, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, Jack, you were the closest. You said 56. And uh, she's, as I mentioned, she's 57. Mm -hmm. Did anybody say 58? Nobody did. So uh, Jack has now got two two up there. Yahoo! <laughs> How about Beverly Sills, uh, the opera singer? Let's see if I got anything about her here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It says retired opera star. That's a sad sentence, isn't it? That kind of a sad title. I'm a retired opera star. <laughs> Can you be an opera star and be retired? Or were you a former opera star, now retired? Well, no, because former opera star sounds like you've lost your voice. Whereas you retired, you're just not singing it anymore, but you could if you'd want to. Well, that would make her an opera singer, not yeah, necessarily a star. Yeah, not like, a star, yeah. You know. You're an opera star, and you well, done. She didn't do any opera Christ singing. Then. She just kind of acted in operas. No, no, she, she had a great voice. All right, so that would make her an opera singer. Yes. Oh yeah, retired and opera a star. singer. And it's no longer, uh, but no longer a star. <laughs> oh, what, what are we? Oh, what I, are we see, I see. So now she's still singing. She's like singing in back alley operas, but she's yeah. no longer a star. <laughs> no. Anyway, she's now <laughs> opera director. Oh, uh, she was born Betty Silverman in Brooklyn, New York. She's a, she's chair chairman or chairperson of the Lincoln Center, and she's got go. a great sense of humor. She wrote a book once also, and great sense of humor. You think of an opera star, and you know, as somebody kind of from another planet, 
and, and you know, and kind of intimidating. She she always was just lovely, with a great sense of humor, and a beautiful voice, and a very bright lady. Well, you might have thought that, but I never did. <laughs> also, I think she had a a child who had some problems. Do, do any of you know about that? No. Yeah, she does have a child with I, uh, some type of learning disability, but I'm not sure what. Yeah, it is. no, I forgot what it is too. And uh, she, whatever the, whatever the problem was, I know that she worked for that cause quite a good deal and did it kind of quietly and nicely. Anyway, let's start with uh, let's start with you, Jack. How old is Beverly Sills today? Beverly Sills. Mm -hmm. She uh, is uh, older than uh, Dixie Carter. I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> But she didn't put on any weight, right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but younger than springtime. <laughs> younger than springtime. Uh, that funny Valentine. Um, she's not married to Gerald McGrady. <laughs> or Hal Holbrook, yeah, for that right. matter. <laughs> but she did have his eye on him once after a show. Yes. Um, 60... 71. 71. Okay. And uh, Scott, what do you think? 69. 69. And uh, Kathy? Oh, I would say 64. Okay, and uh, Tom? Mm, 65. 65. Tony? I say she's still a very fashy. Wait a minute, fashy. 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 No, so sashy. I see, still sashy. I see. Oh, 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 that was a pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's curtains for you. Oh, please spare me the rod. <laughs> <laughs> she could have married. Uh, she could have married that guy. Was it the the guy Stills? What was the name of that? that yeah, group? Stephen Stills. 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 Stills Nash. Yeah, yeah. Stills. yeah. So she, she, she could be Stills. Beverly Sills Stills. <laughs> <laughs> I understand she does a and balancing act. Still. What was that? You're not going to ask him to repeat it when you're <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Tony, Tony well, anyway, Tony, okay. what do you think? Um, 71. 71. What do you think? How old is Beverly Sills, Kevin? Uh, 68, I think. 68 is very close. She's 67. Oh. Uh, so I believe, I believe uh, no, nobody has said uh, 67. Nobody said 66. So I meant that, to say 67. Does that count? Pardon me? I meant to say 67. Yes, that counts. That'll wipe out Kevin right there. <laughs> no. no, Kevin has one, and uh, Scott has one, and uh, Tom has one, and Jack has two. Hmm. Sounds like the beginning of a dirty joke, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Connie Selica. Uh, also, uh, also a birthday. Connie. Thing. Uh huh. Uh, Christine uh. Francis was her uh, was her an original name, which is a nice name. Hmm. Oh, oh no no, maybe that was the character she played on Hotel, the assistant manager. On hotel, that, that's right. Sorry, <laughs> you get your facts straight. Nobody that's would not change that, but she plays it on television. Yeah. Who is she married to? She's married John to Tesh. John Tesh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and she was attorney Pam Davidson on The Great American Hero, mm -hmm. and she is married to the guy just quitting the uh, yep. uh, Entertainment Tonight Show, John Tesh, to pursue a career. Oh. Yeah, as a is. as a mediocre pianist, <laughs> there's a lot of call for that these days. No, but you know it's kind of that soupy uh, new age kind of music stuff. So someday mm -hmm. he'll be a retired mediocre artist. That's right, a mediocre millionaire, a mediocre yeah. star. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, Con for the resume. Uh, Kevin, what do you think? How old is Connie Selica? Uh, I would say uh, she's a good looking. Gal. Oh, um, yes. I, I'd say 45. 45. Okay. Kathy, what do you think? I'll say 43. 43. And Scott? 
I'm thinking about saying 21 just in case she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all listen. You know, they all they all do. They probably you know. are. Yeah. So, but I, but if I do want to win, so okay. I'll say 41. Okay. Uh, Tony? She's a uh, selectable... Selectable. I don't know. Selica? Uh, 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 was... <laughs> it's late. <laughs> really? Uh, 41. If this were 3.45 in the afternoon, would it have been oh, a funny well, line? <laughs> you, you would have been able to catch a breath. That would have been so funny. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You you did give a number. and I, I certainly did. And, it and whatever is the correct answer is the number I gave you. <laughs> and what number are you giving us? 41. 41. Jack? Oh, Connie Sonica. Do, do, do. Uh, she uh, would be uh, 42. 42. Okay, and Tom? 44. 44. 41 is correct. Yes. Mm. It is correct. So that's Tony and Scott. Yes. And uh, Tony's now got, got, a, got one victory there. And as we go to uh, Casey Jones, I guess we all know him around here for basketball fame. Oh, I thought it was the guy who drove the train. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Grateful Jones, man. love my good and plenty. <laughs> I think you're right. It says Casey Jones, formerly train star. I see. Something like that. Yeah, former engineer. <laughs> yeah. Former track star. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> former track star. <laughs> okay. Same, yeah. Okay. But Casey Jones, uh, let's see. We'll start with uh, start with you, Tom. What do you think? <laughs> Kitty Cal... I know. Mm. Kitty Callan is coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the wrong column. <laughs> Casey Jones. Uh, I'll say 67. 67. And Jack? Casey Jones, 67. Uh, she's uh, 66. 66. Okay. Tony? Is he really that old yet? Well, I don't know. People are just guessing. Nobody really seems to... Yeah, this is one of those sports people, you know, so don't go by me. Let me see. Casey Jones. It's going to be a tough one. I'm in pain over this one. I was looking for a joke in that. There isn't any. You didn't mean any in that, did you? No, no. You no, I, I am pained over this one. I am. Wow. He's a... Uh, Is he 60 yet? I guess so. I guess he would be. 61. 61. Okay, and Scott, what do you think? I would say that he's... 60. 60. And Kathy? Uh, I'm torn. Uh, 62. 62. And you realize he's married to Beverly Sills. <laughs> I think I made that up. Uh, Kevin? Yes. I could do is, uh, um, you going to say 62 also? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Uh, he's, he's a 64. So I think we got about three winners this time because uh, Jack's at 66, two years off. And, uh, Kevin and Kathy both said 62, which is two years off the other way. See, I was so, torn between 62 and 64. See, there you go. But uh, so we got Kevin has uh, two correct answers, and Kathy has one, and uh, Scott has two, and Tony has one, and Jack has three. What? Well, you know, for, you know for, and for making a wild guess without knowing sports, and uh, Tom has one. Okay, I mentioned uh, Kitty Callan. You know, do you all know Kitty Callan? Because she she sang quite a number of years ago. Yeah. Uh, her biggest hit. Uh, she sang with the uh, with the Harry James Band. Uh, that'll give you an idea of the year. But she had a big hit in a song called "Little Things Mean a Lot" in 1954. Uh, something about hold my hand as you look in my eyes and do all that swell stuff because little things mean a lot. Mean that a isn't lot. it all the way it goes, as I recall, but <laughs> I got the spirit of it. That, that's the main thing. Cute. She was, she was adorable. Little dark-haired uh, uh, lady. 
uh, what sang she would have sung with uh, well that little things mean a lot was what what am I to, we sang of that is that 40 42 years ago yes yeah 42 oh, years yeah. ago and she'd already been recording with Harry James before that uh, so anyway that'll give you an, an, an idea of the area that we're talking about uh, Kathy mm -hmm. what do you say 72 72 Okay, and uh, Kevin, what do you think? Oh, uh, seventy. Seventy. Okay. Uh, Scott, I would have to say that this lady is about. Uh, who is it again? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's kind of funny. None of us got the feeling you were stalling mm -hmm. at all. You did it just so darn well. <laughs> uh, Kitty Kitty Callan, a singer. Of, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say she's uh, precisely 66. 66. She was, I, I, I first saw her, I, I, I don't think I've ever met her, but I first saw her on the Sherm Feller radio show on WEI. He had a... He'd just come out of the, this, this is another date for you just to remember. Hmm. He'd come out of the service from World War II. And so stations, radio stations had to, and I guess all companies, had to hire back the returning veterans. So WEI, which was owned by CBS at that time, that's before we stepped in and bought the whole works. <laughs> Greedy that we are. Anyway, uh, he had a, they, they stuck him on a late night show that ran from like midnight to 1 a.m., which at that time seemed ridiculous. Like, who's going to listen at that time? They didn't know what else to do with him. And he built up that time period so magnificently that on weekends they had to work out of a very big studio because all of us who'd have dates and stuff would take a, a dates in the Boston to the movies or something. We'd stop off at the Sherm Feller show. And uh, at one point, he, he had a lot of the well-known people on uh, Stan Kenton was on the show with him, and uh, that, that, it's, that seems kind of common now, but that wasn't so common back then. The people were not doing that kind of thing. And Kitty Callan sat in with him once. Wasn't he the Fenway Park announcer? Yes, he was. Yes, that was uh, Sherm Feller, who's, a, who's an interesting man. He'd been in the business for a, for a lot of years, but that was when I first became acquainted with him with his late-night talk show on, on WEI. That would have been around 19... 45 so you can date kitty callan back to that point too you can still date kitty callahan oh yes oh yes even more so now than you could then because she's not that cute little person anymore see? <laughs> she, she's less picky yeah she's not picky at all <laughs> she might even like kevin you never know <laughs> she has an old bag let's face it Whew. wow Kevin, there must have been a little more delicate way you could have phrased it. But no, I said she's a lovely old lady. <laughs> she's a lovely old bag. <laughs> oh, come on, you stop picking on her. Tony, what do you think? Boy, so you said that's 51 years ago? Oh. See, that's not fair now. He has a sad day. Second group has a bigger advantage. Yeah, that's well, not really fair. Well, uh, no, I, uh, you're all pretty much in the same general area. Oh, good. Help a more, Norm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I know. Come on. No, I'm, I'm just trying to point the out guys that. guys in first place. Seven, seven, give it a extra hint. Watch for the hand signals, guys. <laughs> I know. She's now get nasty letters from saying people saying you're fixing it so you don't have to send anything out. Oh, yeah, just what you need to do. I know. That's what I need to I'm going to fire off an angry letter to the rules committee. Could, <laughs> Norm, could you, <laughs> Norm, could you wink a little louder for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Can you see how many fingers I've got? Up? Yes. I'm, you know, Thank you. Okay, that's her age. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of now, that's right. People have. listening don't know the fact that, that you're... Uh, how many miles would you be from here? You're about four or five miles away? Uh, as the crow flies. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but see, you're on microphone as opposed to being on, a, on, the, on the phone. On the handset. Yeah. So people listening would not know that you're not sitting across the way. And I'm actually right next to you, Norm, but I just called in to make that's it right. sound like I'm on the phone. That's right. You'd be <laughs> sitting at the other end of the table <laughs> talking on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Tony, 74. what do you think? 74. 74. Yeah. Okay, Jack. Oh, um, Kenny, uh, Callan, uh, uh, 73, 73, and, uh, Tom? And I'll say 73 also. Also 73. Actually, she's 70. 
Oh, ah, she's 70, and that's what Kevin said. Everyone complained that what you said gave other people an advantage. You actually ruined it for me. No, I know. I was going to say 70, but then you said 45. I'm thinking, oh, she's a little older. She's 74. I know. As I was saying that, I was thinking, I think I threw them off. But yeah, she was only, she was a only, lot. She was only a, probably in her teens uh, when she was on uh, on the Sherm show, you know. Yeah. You know the other reason I found that, that uh, Benny Goodman show? Yeah. So that movie's on Donna Reed. You like Donna Reed? I huh? like Donna Reed. Oh, yeah. Donna Reed in It's a Wonderful oh. Life is a fine thing. Oh, yes, yes, very fine thing. And yeah. she was fine in this, too. <laughs> and she'll be fine. She was fine in everything. <laughs> she <laughs> she could be fine. got a fine for driving, not too hard. Hey, let me do just one more, see if we can... Uh, because we have a tie now between Kevin and uh, Jack. And Hal David, who wrote stuff with Burt Bacharach, wrote dozens of hits, and you probably know them all. And he wrote dozens of hits. How does that go? <laughs> oh, dozens of hits that I see on the vine. They really are nice, but Donna Reed is so fine. <laughs> Is Donna Reed still alive? No. No, she's not. No, she's not. No? She no. died right after she got fired from Dallas. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how old do you think Hal David is? I don't even know who he is. I just told you, he and Bert Backrack wrote dozens of hits, including... Oh, I, I, oh, I realized that. Who's Bert Backrack? Um, do you know the way to San Jose? Yeah. I've been away so long. That 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 that. That was Dion Warwick. Yeah, he did. He did tons of tunes like that. <clears throat> tons of tunes was the flip side of tons yeah. of yeah. 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 Tons of tunes. Tons of tunes. I found you. Tons of tunes. <laughs> you came my way. Tons of tunes. Eating bowls of prunes. So <laughs> kind of. Are we sinking down the toilet now? <laughs> this is awful. Anyway, give a, we got to move along now because we're pretty tight for time. Kevin, give a give a number quickly. Uh, quickly, Kevin. Quickly. Six nine. Okay, Kathy. Fifty eight. Okay, Scott. Fifty. Tony. Fifty seven. Jack. Fifty five. Tom. 56. You're all way off. You know, I'm good if you're off. He's 75. Oh, uh, Hal David is 75? He's 75 years old. Played all very those hip tunes in the 60s? Do you know through the way to uh, trains uh, yeah. and boats? Well, he, he was, he was an old man. I was an old man. I went there. You get enough germs to catch pneumonia? Jack, that's why I wrote the song. And, oh, uh, <laughs> okay, so Kevin has four <laughs> correct answers. He is the winner. He wins. He said 69. He was oh, the closest. Wow. So, Kevin, if you'll give your name and address in the next couple of hours or however you want to space it, uh, to uh, Tom Howie, who will be, who'll be on the phone, we'll send you something, okay? Some real, real junky, worthless thing, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Just hang on. Yeah, that's hanging. Don't say a word. <laughs> just hang on. Okay. And, All right. Uh, it was yeah, no, really don't, a lot don't, of uh, We don't care. We don't care about that, Kevin. Just be quiet. Uh, I, I it, know you don't care. Would you take? The, would you take it quickly? Maybe you can send him some uh, black coffee. Uh, thank goodness. We, <laughs> he said, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> 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 Apple pay, no, yeah. <laughs> <Not it. laughs> anyway, Kathy, it's been it's been fun having you with us. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks for the opportunity and uh, for playing and for being able to talk to Jack. <laughs> oh, you like talking to Jack? Yes. Yeah. You want to say a couple of things to him before you go? No, I'll, I'll make that later. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. okay, Kathy. And uh, th thanks to you, too, of course, uh, Scott. Thank you, Norm. You've been, you've been fun. And, of course, Tony and Jack. Yeah, you've been pleasures, yeah. both of you. Yeah, have a you've been, yeah, happy yeah. Memorial Day. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget, this is the Memorial Day weekend. Do yeah. try to drive carefully. Yeah, yeah. think you try to. You if you, can, you know, if you can't, if you can't drive carefully, uh, you know, we can drive. understand. But Good drive like a maniac. Yeah. Yeah. Do, the, do the best you can. <laughs> we are talking about how we all say sup superfluous things like yeah. there are three inches of ice on the road. <laughs> Uh, be careful. You know, like, uh, oh, yeah. The sidewalks are slippery, so watch where you walk. <laughs> That's right. The life you save may be your own. <laughs> oh, that was unnecessary. Hey, Jack and yeah. uh, Tony, anyway, thanks to both of you. Appreciate having you on. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Oh, this was such a, a rewarding hour, was it not? Yes, Norm. It was a very rewarding hour.
We should have done a Tonto Lone Ranger segment for the Beverly Sills birthday, too. Oh, Tonto? What's that under Beverly's windows? Beverly Sills. And uh, Jack, oh yes, Jack tried to get in a balancing act joke that we never got to hear. I'm pretty sure I can finish it. I think it was going to be, the name of the act was Sills on Stilts, or maybe Beverly Stilts. Jack, let me know if I was right. See you next week. Or maybe not. Closing the vault and leaving this world a little sillier than we found it. For Bob and Ray, Benny Goodman, Steve Allen, Memorial Day, and everyone have a happy one. Opera, Tonto, Jenny Jones, Barbie Dolls, Balloons, My Funny Valentine, Altoona, Pennsylvania, all the ladies on the game today, Karen, Leslie, Dixie, Beverly, Connie, Kitty, and our player, Kathy, Sherm Feller, W-E-E-I, Hints and Hand Signals, Winking Loudly, the lovely Donna Reed, Hot Black Coffee, Wholesome Prunes, Tom Howie, Jack Hart, and the man with Walls of Fire, Norm Nathan, I'm Tony Nesbitt.